the use of analytics is no longer limited to big companies with deep pockets it's now widespread with 59% of enterprising enterprises using analytics in some capacity and companies are capitalizing on this technology in several ways according to a survey from deloitte 49% of respondents say that analytics helps them make better decisions 16% say that it better enables key strategic initiatives and 10% say it helps them improve relationships with both customers and business partners Hello everyone welcome back to one more podcast of Analytics Insight this is Priya Dialani your host and senior editor at Analytics Insight so data analytics is definitely more complex than setting up algorithms to feed into databases to take advantage of the bits of knowledge covered in data sets in an intelligent way one that yields substantial outcomes requires human touch combined with a scientific approach now let's dive deep into the much hyped ambiguous field of data as a service with roman stanek ceo of good data a leader in embedded analytics and intelligence how Roman how are you doing I'm doing well thank you good morning great uh so you know uh, let's let's start uh, with telling our listeners about uh, what good data is its specialization and the services it offers yeah uh, absolutely happy happy to uh, so good data is a company that focuses on this emerging category called uh, data as a service and as you mentioned you know one of the application of data as a service is embedded business intelligence but uh, we believe that uh, the goal of data as a service and the goal of good data is to is to make analytics widely available pervasive um, accessible to anyone and everyone uh, people uh, devices and so on and our goal is to uh, make analytics um, you know uh, democratized and and it's uh, it's it is it is a uh, you know 10 year old company good data is a 10 year old company and we have a about 70000 companies using good data and uh, half of the fortune 500 is using good data thank you so much for uh, telling our listeners about good data and i very well like the point uh, that you know it's not just about embedding analytics and intelligence you guys are also trying to democratize data and i think there's a lot of going on around democratization of data So um moving ahead uh, when we're talking about a uh, data as a service the world as we know it will continue to be increasingly driven by data so from a corporate perspective data analytics is the tool that helps business owners in this day and age both understand how their business is faring and pinpoint areas that need attention now in its function to deliver critical insights as to whether a business is moving in the right direction data analytics is fundamentally the key to effective decision making now with what mission was the company uh, built upon can you tell us about your journey since the inception of the company Yeah absolutely um it's actually interesting i mean, i was making a notes here about the percentages you started uh, this call with uh, that only 10% of companies would say that analytics is helping them uh, helping them to improve relationship with customers and you know 16% believe that it help, helps them to make uh, better decisions we need to get these numbers to 100% and that's the vision of good data that's the mission of the day good data from uh, from the beginning and it's um, if you you know the, the the journey of good data is um, is the journey of data in a cloud when we started 10 years ago our vision was data in a cloud but uh, there was no data in a cloud because essentially there was no cloud but uh, 10 years later we have so much kind of cloud so many cloud technologies and so much cloud infrastructure so it's now possible and uh, so our goal is uh, is to you know and the goal of good, uh, data as a service is to really kind of make data accessible as a service when you need it as you need it uh in a in a quantity and and details as you need and so on and obviously governed and secure and that's the vision and you know someone someone made an interesting point uh, over the weekend that today you can order a restaurant food as a service you don't need to go to a restaurant and yet we don't have data as a service so we are clearly behind on making data available to anyone and everyone and uh, the 10% uh, rate of uh, analytics being helpful for customer care that needs to get to 100 
I completely agree with you, Roman. That yes, that percentage should go to hundred percent because um, data is exploding and. Uh, uh, organizations are not able to harness the value that probably data is trying to give to organizations so yes um, going to 100 person person is definitely the need of the hour as well and i'm sure with good data uh, products and uh, with the um, uh, innovation and technology that you are using you would soon be able to achieve that mark yeah i hope so i hope so absolutely nice um now, when we're talking about data analytics, so one of the key uh, perspective is that it strengthens businesses by encouraging disciplined thinking. Now, they keep um, uh, key decision makers focused, uh, they improve processes and uh, optimizes communication between business leaders and data experts, all of this in order to drive the right conversation for the success of the business. Now, uh, we would like to know what has been your proactive uh, role and uh, probably the proactive role of good data data that the company is taking and the contributions that the company is making towards the industry of big data. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 you know, it's our vision primarily is to make, not to limit data just to decision makers. You know, our vision is to make data available to every frontline worker, anyone, anyone who makes decisions. So, 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 you know, our goal is to really kind of make every decision, every single decision to be data driven decision. And that's not happening today. That's not possible. You know, uh, most decisions today are anecdotal. Most decisions are gut based. There is no data. And even if there is a data, it's not available. It's not trusted. It's not uh, presented in a form that people can understand. And so 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 our contribution is is to really kind of leverage all the all the innovation in big data in the cloud in you know all the cloud technologies for storing and 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 cleansing and managing data but but how do we solve the last mile how do we actually embed analytics in every single decision how do we scale analytics so that it's not only available to the c-suite or few decision makers that's kind of that's the that's the vision of the data that's the vision of data as a service but obviously um you know if i'm a if i'm a if I'm a, uh, uh, you know, if I'm working in a hotel and checking counter, and I I need to make decision where to put a guest, you know, based on how how frequent flower, uh, how frequent travel they are, and so on. I need data in certain form about that customer at that moment, and I need data as a service. If I make decision about discount for a big supplier. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, uh, I need decision in different form, different data. So, so mm-hmm. we need to get data to every single decision, uh, big or small, but we need to get it in the form that people can understand in that moment. And, and that's the contribution of good data. That's quite remarkable, Roman. Thank you for sharing uh, such insights regarding the company and how the company is contributing. Um, clearly, uh, um, data as a service is not something uh, that is that is new today. It's just that organizations are not able to understand the value that probably it can give. So overall, we can say that um, data science, uh, data as a service, it, it relies upon the rule that predetermined valuable information can be provided to uh, users or customers uh, on demand, independent of any organizational or geographical separation between consumers and providers. So um, I believe that Good Data recently launched a new core platform and announce a category pivot to data as a service. So can you tell us more about Good Data's new product update? Yeah, absolutely. So we launched, uh, yeah, thank you. We've launched a couple of days ago, uh, we launched a new, plat- as you said, core platform, uh, uh, Good Data Cloud Native. And, um, you know, our vision, again, it's, 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 we are doubling down on this availability of data to everyone. And uh, the beauty of cloud cloud native is that cloud native t- uh, technologies work on any cloud, uh, any public cloud, any private cloud. They are highly portable. They 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 really kind of uh, uh, can be delivered to edge computing and and centralized computing and anything that uh, anyone actually needs. And so so our cloud native uh, addition of good data enables any company, large and small. Uh, to deploy good data, to make good data um, 
uh, part of the part of the technical infrastructure, and then provide, as you said, uh, data as needed uh, on demand to all of their employees, to all of their suppliers, to the customers, regardless where they are and how they need the data, because that's. Uh, it's uh, again, it's an API first model. So uh, once you open APIs, anyone who has obviously, you know, security and, and we have, we are enforcing security and governance, but anyone who needs the data can have access to it. And, and that's kind of different than how it works today. If you think about how it works today, most people get data in the form of email file or Excel file or, or static dashboard or PDF file. So uh, it's really a different, uh, different uh, quality of data when you can get uh, real-time data and real-time insights at your fingertips anywhere and everywhere you want it. That's quite interesting, uh, Roman. Thank you for sharing uh, insights about the new product update. And I'm sure um, users or listeners listening to this probably want to try their hands on this new product update and deploy this platform as soon as possible um, in their respective organizations so that they can have access to on-demand data uh, irrespective of the size of the organization. Great. Um, uh, businesses now across the globe are highlighting that data as a service not only uh, is as acts as a unique revenue channel, but also a path to reshape the business world through competitive intelligence. Increasing importance of data and analytics is driving the importance of data as a service. Now, uh, external uh, data as a service uh, providers enable companies uh, to easily access external data and internal data as a service service providers make it easier for companies to deem uh, chromatize analytics and empower their business users. Now, having said that, when we're trying to distinguish up between the external providers and the internal providers, uh, where and how do you think the good data as a company is innovative? And are there any key partnerships and involvements done to drive the innovation? Um, yeah, that, that's actually a very good observation, kind of the external, internal. Uh, we believe that over the time, this will actually disappear, that there will not be this kind of a uh, uh, you know, clear distinction. Every every data set should be available, internal and external, when people need it. Um, and and you know, it's it's you absolutely correct. Until now, data as a service was was kind of uh, viewed as a very limited use case, just for some external data set. But you know, ninety nine percent of the data sits inside of the four walls of the company. So we have to make those data sets available as well. So the market for internal data as a service is probably hundred times bigger. And um, you know, our, our the partnerships and and um, uh, everything that that relates to it, uh, we will be making further announcements about all of our partnerships. Um, you know, one one big announcement we made. Uh, a couple of months ago is our investment with Visa. And obviously you can imagine Visa is a very large uh, data provider to uh, the payments community, to merchants, to banks, to uh, to, in, uh, to companies that acquire customers and so on. So it's, it is, it is one of those, uh, it is one of those um, uh, data companies that actually need it as a service the most. And, and we will be making further announcements. Um, I also want to go back to your notion that uh, uh, data as a service is really helping companies to scale analytics and and make it available to everyone, uh, um, you know, democratize it. Uh, that's why we are actually making the the Good Data CN edition free for community use. Anyone can actually download it. Anyone can put it into the data center. Uh, you know, our main goal is to really make data available to everyone. So it is. Uh, it's not. Uh, it is not uh, highly prohibitive uh, to to go and explore Good Data. That's quite notable, Roman. I think um, uh, with with making that new um, a service free to everyone for everyone to download, um, I think that's that's going to help in more adop adoption of uh, data as a service. And uh, moreover, I think organizations have been reluctant to uh, deploying data analytics or any form of technology because they think that high costs are associated with it, uh, which I think small business or medium scale enterprises are not able to do that because that might cause a deep hole in their pockets. Uh, but I guess. With this platform, we 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 sure can you know expect people to download it and make sure that you know they're trying to use data somewhere to achieve more heights and uh, valuable insights. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I actually believe that even even large companies, you know, um, and again, it goes back to the numbers you started with. One of the reasons why only 10 percent of the companies would actually say and be, and I'm sure that these are large companies would actually, um, you know, agree that uh, data is helping them with uh, a customer relationship. It's the cost, uh, and it's cost scales with the company. So, uh, you know, um, even for the largest companies, the the cost of analytics today and licensing and the whole infrastructure and and data duplication, it's just too prohibitive. And so we have to, you know, for for data and analytics as an industry, we really need to change the dynamics. We really need to make it much more uh, accessible to anyone, not make it price prohibitive. And... Uh, and one of the biggest problems of analytics today is that um, uh, is that you know it's priced for every employee who wants to see data, regardless how they want to see it, how often they want to see it, and so on. And and we need to change it. You know, we live in a in a in a, a service world. We have to have a, a, a more kind of API first approach. And APIs don't count seats; they don't count number of people. And so we cannot price analytics by number of people who uh, access data because then it becomes too expensive. Definitely, and I think. Um like just like I said earlier that data as a service is, is something that is not a new concept it's just that organization and enterprises are not able to harness uh, the uh, the value that probably uh, this service is providing but um, information management experts believe that as more organizations make sense of which data resources they can lease for uh, upper hand uh, the data as a service market will keep on growing and uh, just like it said, it, it's required uh, to be a starting point for both business intelligence and big data analytics market. Um, I just want to quote that, you know, Gartner additionally still observes that the data as a service market growing as more companies begin seeing it as a fitting method to oversee crucial data. So having having with so much um, uh, expert opinions and with Gartner also uh, putting in uh, the thought about uh, data as a service market, uh, what are your views on the future of data as a service and how uh, the new product update that is good data on cloud native is working towards that future? Yeah, I, I think we are just in the beginning. I actually think we are just in the beginning. Um, it's... Uh, until now, you know, if you if you look at if you look at how people share data in the enterprise, it's 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 we are like in a in an age of steam. You know, this is like uh, it's like we could be like hundred hundred years back, and it, it would be the same. It would be very kind of uh, duplicative and send again again as I said, sending PowerPoint slides in emails and sending. Uh, uh, PDF slides and email and and it's just it's just it's uh, it's very very uh, uh, backward industry in terms of um, kind of the data service on demand and um, yeah we can all argue why is it why is it so so uh, why is it so kind of uh, difficult to uh, to get access in the data I do believe that it's uh, primarily cost and also the fact that. Uh, uh, you know, data as a data analytics is still being seen almost like Excel, like everyone should get a copy of Excel. And that's not how we can actually scale data. Um, so how do I see the future? I actually see the future, um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm super excited about future of data as a service. I actually think that every company uh, will move to this model where they will actually be providing data internally as a service. And... Um, and then they will have uh, different uh, audiences, uh, different uh, groups of people consuming data. Again, some people can consume data in dashboards. Some people can consume data in data analytics uh, discovery tools. Some people can use data, consume data to train their models. Some people can consume data to uh, you know, analyze customer behaviors and on and on and on. So there are, there, there are unlimited number of use cases for data in a company once you make it available, as you said, on demand. And uh, that's the vision of the data as a service. And, and good data CN or cloud native is the is the first step how to how to really make uh, data available to everyone. And um, you know, I will go back to what I said when we started. Our vision is to make every decision a fact-based decision, and uh, to increase that number 
uh, of people who will actually attribute uh, data improvements from 10% to 100%. And uh, yeah, we are just uh, in the first uh, first uh, step of that. I agree with Gartner and everyone else that this market is going to grow uh, super fast, but uh, we need to change the vision. We need to change the vision that data as a service is just for external data, and we need to make it available to everyone and uh, every every uh, every decision. And, and and again, it doesn't need to be human based decision. It can be a, a a device. It can be a a IoT. You know, IoT data as a service, so factory floors. It's just unlimited, and uh, it's a completely new paradigm. Definitely. I think uh, while this is the first step towards making uh, data as a service uh, more uh, common probably or more standard uh, technology within the organization, I'm sure like this industry is, is going to grow uh, super soon because uh, there lies valuable importance and significance uh, within what the service is trying to provide to users or for that matter organizations. Um, now, when we are talking about um, data as a service, so uh, it is it is closely related to storage as a service and software as a service, and it can be incorporated with either of these provision models. Now, similar to these models that probably I just mentioned, uh, one of the main challenges or uh, the adoption of data as a service is hampered is because of the concerns about security privacy and proprietary issues. So probably this is one of the challenge that uh, you or the company must have faced till now, but we would like to know more some challenges the company has faced till now and how you have tried to overcome them and reach to a position uh, where you're trying to make data available to everyone. Yeah, I, that that's, um, you, you, you're absolutely 100% correct that data security is one of the primary um, uh, problems with data and and I would I would put uh, data governance and um, trust in data data quality uh, at the same level I, I think it's uh, all of these problems stem from the fact that today um, the, again the data is 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 not really managed centrally today data is um is made available again like uh, like excel is a good analogy you know if i have my formula in excel and you have your formula in excel uh, we will not have the same uh we will not come to the same uh, conclusion because we will have different numbers uh, i also cannot tell you what if if the data you have in your excel if if that's uh, if it's uh, data you should actually have, I cannot govern the data in your Excel because uh, you can have data that's uh, that sh you shouldn't have. So so it's very difficult to for any organization to manage data in a current model where data is essentially copied uh, to everyone's desktop and people can copy it again and copy it again. Um, so so much more on-demand model and I can actually see who needs data when and and how can they actually. Um, you know, I can govern that access. I can secure that access. I can also give them a single version of the truth, so that uh, you know, when when someone asks me what, how much, how much, uh, how many, how many products did we sell last week, you know, everyone gets the same number, and that's not happening in any company today because everyone has that definition different uh, differently. So, so um, I think it's kind of the the. Making data, making data available, not just data, making data and insights available as a service will actually solve many of these problems around security, governance, uh, access rights, uh, single version of the truth. And uh, it is, it is, um, but these are the biggest problems that people ch uh, face uh, and those are the biggest challenges. Absolutely. I think that's, that's quite true. And uh, while we're talking about so many technologies and uh, we have seen so many revolutions, Industry 4.0 is much more than just another buzzword. Now, the term Industry 4.0 refers to the fourth industrial revolution and is comprised of growing trends in uh, automation, Internet of Things, big data, cloud computing, artificial intelligence, you name it, and any technology is part of this revolution. Now, just like steam power, electricity, and uh, digital automation of the past, cyber physical systems will create the factory of the future, the smart factory. 
Now, while uh, data analytics is already here, uh, what do you think would be the next revolution in data analytics? Probably now today we are talking about data as a service. It's it's something uh, uh, revolutionary for companies today. But if you talk about the future, what do you think would be the next revolution in data analytics? Yeah, I actually think that the biggest revolution, and, and I'm sure that data as a service and IoT and factory 4.0 will be that. I, I actually think that the biggest revolution will be really an accelerated transition of data to the cloud. Uh, only 5% of data is stored in the cloud today, so that number is even lower. But once we actually move all the data in the cloud, um, the the ability to to analyze the data to understand the data to you know sift through the data and so on that that's going to affect every industry and you, you're absolutely correct that um you know for for example for manufacturing to be able to leverage data they have to re re uh, design the factories to be smart factories but to make the factory smart and collect all the data about my processes that's only half, but being able to actually get the insights and improve manufacturing and improve quality and improve supply chains, that that is kind of uh, that's the goal of the data in the cloud. And so, biggest biggest uh, revolution will be moving all the data in the cloud and then having uh, all the power of the cloud to do all the advanced use cases, AI, machine learning, and and so on. Um, and the, the third, third step will be, once we have all these kind of insights, how do we get them back to people who are making the decision? So I would say the future, it goes in like three steps. The first step is Replatform your company, move, move, measure everything uh, from factory to all of your processes, collect the data, put the data in the cloud. The second step is once data is in a cloud, analyze it, uh, you know, do a deep analytics, do a deep machine learning um, models and so on. And the step three is once you have all these insights, use data as a service to get those insights to all of your people in every single part of the company and also externally all of your supply chains and dimension uh, customers and so on. So that's kind of the three step uh, uh, future of the data is more data, more data in the cloud, and more access to the data. Before uh, you know, I proceed to my uh, last question. Now, since you said that um, th the next revolution would be probably accelerating transitioning the data to the cloud. Um, well, we all know like the COVID pandemic, uh, how it has forced us to sit at homes, lockdown, and remote working took the new norm. So a lot of companies started transitioning the data and the entire operational procedures from the cloud and deployed in the cloud. So do you still think that uh, a lot companies are yet to transition yet transition their data to the cloud yeah absolutely i think we are, we are just scratching the surface we are absolutely scratching the surface they are still as i said only five percent of the data is now stored in the cloud so uh that that is um and it's not surprising you know you have uh, 50 years of accumulation of data in uh in the enterprise in uh in different servers and 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 data centers and and uh, you know different types of infrastructure, so it's going to take a long time uh, for all the data sets will be to to move it to the cloud. And I know it sounds like it sounds like we are making so much progress, but it just tells you how big the problem is. If five percent uh, looks uh, like this, imagine fifty percent. Imagine uh, how much more work we'll have to do to get to fifty percent of data in the cloud. Uh, we are we are definitely not there yet we are definitely not there yet and i i agree with you that COVID accelerated it uh this whole notion that uh, um you know uh the 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 processes need to be more and more digitalized uh, that supports it but uh in terms of having data in the cloud or processes in the cloud we are still early Okay, well, I hope that the acceleration of data to cloud happens soon with major companies taking this step forward and making sure that they're operating and the data is in the cloud. Uh, one last question for you, Roman, and that would be, uh, what would be your advice to budding leaders and entrepreneurs in the field of tech? Yeah, yeah, from my perspective, um, it's it's measure everything and and make again make the the measurements and insights av available to everyone. I actually think that uh, you know leaders and 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 entrepreneurs need to focus on wide availability of data in a company. Every, again, every decision needs to be uh, a data driven decision. And so 
So, so measure everything. It's everything is measurable these days. Every process can be measured. Every process can actually collect data. And then once you have those insights, you know, then make it available for people to make better decision. I think that's. Uh, I'm a big uh, proponent of. Uh, of kind of data transparency and how do we make data available to everyone. More, more data we make available, um, better decisions people will make. And uh, so, so and, and, and again, it's uh, with technologies like good data, cloud native that anyone can get for free for, you know, uh, for community edition and so on. It's so easy these days to actually do this. And, and again, not just good data, but the whole cloud uh, revolution. Um, it's it is it is time for data to be uh, to be um, used uh, more widely and and that's uh, and the, the the infrastructure is there now but it all all depends on measuring everything. Definitely, I think after having such an insightful conversation, what we could say is that enriching customer data with um, digital profiles, uh, life events, community information, transaction-based insights, customer preferences, sentiment scoring, and so forth is, is the new business mantra. However, there's one catch. The data till recently was spread across disconnected data sets. Now with data as a service, services 360 degrees customer data is available and accessible across the business to enable on the spot discounts product recommendation and eventually vastly improved customer experiences so i think if organizations haven't thought about data as a service they should definitely think and make sure that they employ or deploy good data or probably can use a free version of the good data platform that is a good data cloud native well, thank you so much, Roman. It was a pleasure having you with us. I think it was an insightful podcast where we tried exploring uh, uh, the nuts and bolts of data as a service and uh, you helped us guide it through uh, the entire time. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Great. For listeners, watch this space for more podcasts and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Also, find us on Spotify and Google Podcasts. Till then, stay safe and healthy. Thank you so much.